you're back at King's Dominion, uh, there's a bus behind me, so I'm gonna wait for him to go ahead and leave the parking lot. It's currently 6.06, .06 and the temp right now is about like 88 degrees, but the humidity honestly makes it feel like it is 95. It is so humid right now, like you can literally, it feels like it's weighing on you. But I'm gonna head inside the park today. This is the fit for today. Again, we got Adidas down to the soft yard. You know how it is. Shout out to today's sponsor, which is Nobody. Uh, hopefully it'll be Adidas one day. I imagine that'll happen sooner or later. So Adidas, whenever you're ready, I'm waiting on you. But uh, regardless of that, I'm gonna go inside the park and see what's going on with the uh, coaster. I'm just doing a quick update because the rest of the week is gonna be raining. Uh, after that though, I'm gonna uh, just kind of ride some coasters, enjoy the rest of today. Uh, the park's gonna close at nine o'clock today, so I'll probably close it out. I also forgot to mention, I always wear something that has zippers or Velcro pockets because I don't wanna sit here and pay for a locker when I go inside the park, mainly because there's no reason why I need to pay for a locker. That's why I love Percy Park so much because they also have bins, but not only do they have bins, they also have lockers and the lockers are free. And on top of that, those lockers actually can fit a book bag. So that's one of the reasons why I love Percy Park so much. Hopefully more parks incorporate that. I know a lot of places are starting to do the uh, double-sided lockers, which is nice. If you could make the double-sided lockers bigger, we would be good to go. All right, let's get in this park. All right, guys, so as you can see, they got the sign up here for Raptera and everything. Uh, it looks pretty cool, pretty dope seeing that. Got the sound going and everything. Pretty cool seeing this. Definitely dope. Nice little way to get the people going, the guests going. I'll get a picture of that. It feels so much better inside the park. Uh, the shade really does help. So, again, we're just gonna make our way back around to Grizzly, Twisted Timbers, Rebel Yale Race 75, and head over to Jungle X, and then we're gonna exit out with uh, Dominator. So, that's how we're gonna do today. Uh, that's usually how I do it every time I come to the park. It's just easier that way. It's, it's really easy doing it that way. I don't even think I'm probably gonna eat today, because uh, I ate already before I got here. It's definitely lighter in the park today. There's less people, so we're gonna ride Grizzly now. Uh, by the way, this part right here, that's supposed to be a coaster for, we don't know the date or the year yet. So there's supposed to be a coaster coming probably 2027 uh, or 2028. Uh, that means I'll be 28 years old, which is kind of wild, but that means there's supposed to be a coaster coming really soon so yeah that area over there i know y'all saw like the go-karts they're starting to get rid of those go-karts honestly in most, like, most parts because they're a waste of money it's a waste of space a waste of money there's no point uh, this is basically walk on so i will talk to y'all soon thing is forceful today i want to ride it again there's one train the ops are good it's just uh you know it is what it is like i said this is the only park that i honestly notice that does that at least to me the parks i've been to they all do two trains even on a weekday in july or august but i don't know kingston is like the only one that really does that but it is what it is we are headed to Twisted Timbers. All right, guys, so I'm literally walking into Twisted Timbers line. Fan found me. It's hard to find me because I walk fast, but uh, yeah. this, what, your name's Matt, right? Matt? Max. All right, yeah. Max, Max, okay. Well, it was nice meeting you. How long have you been here? Um, I've been here for like uh, two, three hours. Okay, how's it, is it like packed in now? Oh, it's decent. Well, decent. Okay, how are the operations? Are they solid or what? They're good. They're good, okay. Favorite ride in the park? What's your favorite ride? Uh, Timidator. Timidator, okay. And then thoughts on Raptor? What do you think about Raptor? 
pretty cool. Yeah. Do you think it's gonna be in your top three or like what do you think? At least top two. Top two. Okay. Yeah. I'd say probably, yeah, I think it's probably going to be Twisted Timbers, Intimidator, and like Rap Terror. But yeah, it was nice meeting you, man. Thank you so much. I appreciate you stopping by and at least saying the hello, because don't be afraid, guys, to say hello either. So, yeah. You're never going to tell me that Blue and Green Train are the same. I literally just rode them back to back, and Green Train just eats you, man. It just eats you. You just fly through the hang, you fly through the barrel roads. You just get yeeted over every airtime hill. You can hear it now. It's about to go. I'm gonna get this shot for y'all because y'all gotta see this airtime, man. It's just crazy. <laughs> you guys won't believe this. I literally saw my old Algebra 2 teacher, and uh, she said she doesn't teach anymore. She actually is a model. Uh, yeah, she does look really beautiful. I'm not even gonna lie. I was gonna get her in the vlog, but I didn't ask her for that. But uh, it was nice seeing her though. It was really cool. Uh, I'm glad that she kind of got out of teaching because that job, teaching is for the birds, man. I appreciate the teachers, but we all know it's not what it is. I would never want to teach you high schoolers, you middle schoolers in this generation because <laughs> I'm gonna ride race to 75 now and I think this is south side I don't even know I'm gonna do both sides of them uh, we're rolling through today though operations good job with September's big job Grizzly let's keep that rhythm going let's see how they do with race to 75 I literally said, what are the odds that it's going to happen? I can't believe I just got this shot. That's golden right there. Hey, I got a proposal for, uh, by the way, Delirium was testing the other day, so it is going to be back up and running. Probably by the end of the season, I don't know yet. The exit for uh, Racer 75, man, that is way too long. Also, that ride needs fast lane. The ops are, the ops are good. I'm just saying grizzly racer 75 and like there's a couple attractions that actually need fast lane that don't have them like they really do need to incorporate that really soon at this park so um i'm headed to jungle x now we're gonna see what's going on with rap terror and i'll ride intimidator maybe back lot it's not too packed it feels good it's just humid as all get out I forgot how tall this thing was. They ain't playing around, guys. The S turn is pretty much complete. They've only got a little bit left, as you see. That little stagnant piece right there. Once they get that done, they will be good to go. And they will start on the next part. And I think that inversion is done. Holy crap, yeah, the inversion is done. Dang, they're moving. All right, so yeah, the whole inversion is now done. Uh, so they've already got this first car bid pretty much. Yeah, I could see this honestly testing, honestly, by the end of the year, by Winterfest. Definitely could see them testing. I'm gonna ride Reptilian now to get an aerial view. Uh, the line doesn't look too long and I'll let you all know what I see. Man, I tell y'all, the only reason I ride that ride, because that, that ride that I just had was pretty rattly. It does get intense on the Helix, but it does, it's it's cool. I got to see what the aerial coverage looks like. They're definitely they're moving along quite well. Um, it's awesome seeing that aerial view because you can't see it nowhere else in the park. But I'm gonna head to I threw a five. I think I might skip back a lot today. Yeah, I think I'm gonna skip back a lot today and just do Intimidator three or five. After that, maybe Flight of Fear, then Dominator, and I will head out because it's like seven thirty five. I think right now. So yeah, I will talk to you soon.
Yo, that joker is cooking with grease. Let me tell you, bro. <laughs> and uh, I just want to say, I think for the first time ever, they had like a one and a half minute off. Uh, congratulations to the I-305 crew, because I don't know what crew this is, but keep it up. Keep it up. You heard that? All clear. They Look, they just got on the brake run. That's crazy. Watch, they actually do a countdown now like Cedar Point. So I'll show that really quick and then I'm gonna ride again. I'm gonna do back row. I just did row three and it was crazy. Look at how fast they're going. My boy is moving. It's crazy. Let's see how long it takes to They're trying, they're trying. Like I said, the ride is only like, it's actually less than a minute after you get off the drop. Okay, it's almost on the brake run, let's see. All right, let's hit the brakes. Let's see. Oh, snap. Can they do it? I can't believe it. Are they going to get it? Can we get it all clear before it hits that last one? Uh, oh, snap. They did it. I can't believe it. That's the fastest op we've had for this year last year the year before that i guess my complaint has finally paid off good job y'all seriously good job all right i'm riding back row let's get it So I thought the park closed at nine o'clock. They actually closed at eight o'clock. And um, <laughs> man, that was crazy. I just had another amazing ride. I think that one was better than the last time. I had so much room. Shout out to the ride up. You know who you are. He already watches my videos. He knows what it is. Man, that was just pure gloriness, yo. Like, literally speechless. That ride was so good. Oh, better than Fury, man. I can't believe I said that. I said it in the last video. Yeah, it's better than Fury. I haven't ridden Fury in a long time, though. I know Fury has gets up to almost like 100 some days when it's really hot outside. I haven't been there since the crack. So I definitely have to go back for sure. Man, check out the sunset. I know I said I was gonna talk to y'all when I got back to the park, but the sunset was beautiful. All right, y'all. I'm gonna do this in one take because it is currently 8.14 and uh, man, I'm ready to get up out of here. It is hot as all get out outside, or really humid. It feels good, it's just super humid right now. Man, I had a blast today. Uh, great job, like I said, all the way around on operations. I did want to talk about Delirium. It was testing, uh, 
from my knowledge, I didn't see testing today, but it, it was testing earlier this week for sure. In fact, it probably was yesterday when it was testing. There is paint. I did see the support. Uh, it has been painted. I don't know if it was black or not, but it did look like it was black paint for the support. So I don't know officially yet if it's going to be black support for the new uh, repaint for I-305 or whatever the new name is going to be. But just know that's getting repainted, Dominator's getting repainted. What I really want them to do is get a new entrance for this park, but that's not going to happen with that budget because uh, they that budget did drop a little bit for next year. There's a lot coming besides the coaster, so just get ready. There's going to be another announcement. We don't know when that announcement is going to be. Thank you all for watching. Let me know what you all want to see next. And uh, like, share, subscribe. Until next time, peace out. I guess we'll flex it out at the end just because. Let's go.